Okay, today I am. Um, I want to replace the drive belt. Otherwise, called in some quarters, it is referred to as the sapping time belt. And see, I see that uh, the belt has started tearing. I see that the belt has started tearing along this line. You can see the belt is wounded. And. So I wouldn't want to take um, chances so that it doesn't get cut off completely while I'm uh, while the car is in motion. So um, this belt is uh, less than three. It's about four thousand kilometers old from the record I have, and now it's it's beginning to tear. It's beginning to tear. I see a lot of tearing. See, it's it's getting weak. Okay, so um, and this is seven PK seventeen ninety. So I got a replacement for it, and I'm right away. I'm going to replace it. Okay, so for this car, first thing out, I'll use a 14 millimeter socket on the tensioner. Put it on the tensioner that way. And since the handle is not long enough, I'll support it with um, with another spanner and then pull it. and take off the belt Okay, so right here I have a replacement belt and this is the number this is a number it's a 7 PK 1790 um, that's what fits this model of this car um, your case, yours might be different. You can consult your owner's manual or the repair manual to know exactly the number that fits your model of car. Uh, for me, this is what works. Okay, so if you are attempting this for the first time, um, it's pretty easy. Uh, I find replacing the belt in the car... Um, and is it in especially the four model, four cylinder model of cars? Um, it's more a bit complex or more difficult with the six cylinders and the eight cylinders. But for uh, cars like this, the four cylinder models, I consider it very easy. Now, there are two things you need to note. See, um, the inner part of the belt okay in this case this is the seven pk this is why it's called seven pk there are seven um ducts so you see one two three four five six seven and then that's the rough side of it that's all the inner side and we also have the the smooth side as the outer surface okay now when you are carrying out this exercise, 
um, you need to note that this inner side, wherever you have surfaces like this, the inner side will be on top. But if you have surfaces like this, the tensioner and the and the water pump pulleys, what that will make contact with the smooth side of the belt. Okay, so once you have that in mind, I mean you can carry out this exercise pretty easily. okay here it is um i've installed the 7 pk 1790 belt successfully um it's the main drive belt okay so you can look at the diagram of installation like i said earlier it's pretty a simple exercise um three five minutes you're done I mean just to put the belt back in three five minutes you are done and uh, so that's all i'm just going to crank on the engine and just so everything is in place you can see this is uh, more tension than this one is more tension than the one i just removed and uh, it's looking nice okay so my tax here is done okay and uh, um, real quick if you can keep a record of um, things like this for me I'm just going to write it on my repairs repair book and um, so I know at what the date of replacement and the reason for replacing it and your dormitory at that point so when it happens or when uh, when that same issue occurs again you it, it gives me an idea of when the repair was done or the replacement was done so that's that thank you all